Hello, and welcome back to the Merry Tyler Moore. I am so glad you could join me again today. We are going to be rebuilding Kleinberg train station. As you can see, the new improved version here. Now, the reason is because Kleinberg is quickly becoming the gateway to the Tyler Moore from the intercity trains that have been clogging up our local lines. Now, the reason for this is quite unfortunate because the reality of it is that the world is in a very difficult place right now. And as you can see here uh, from the UN's data, we have more displaced people than you could possibly imagine. This is before the Ukraine war data as well. The end of 2021, 90 million people displaced around the world. And the Tyler Moore is the kind of place where we want to work hard to make the world a better place instead of just benefiting ourselves or doing whatever we want to do because we want to do it that way no we care about people here in the tyler moore we take responsibility for our actions we consider the end results of our actions um, we really want to make the world a better place so in order to welcome a lot of displaced people we need a better train station that's the first step so thank you for joining me here on a humanitarian edition of the merry tyler moore now as you can see the original station here in Kleinberg was just a little two-platform, uh, tiny little thing. It didn't need to be anything fancy, though, because Kleinberg was built to be a simple town uh, for simple lives with not much to do but go to work and, and raise a happy family in a quiet place. Um, but Kleinberg is growing, and as we can see, the whole region needs more housing. Uh, we need more places for people to live um, to help make things more livable. Uh, so we're just going to move our train washing stations here. There's eventually going to be a new rail yard built out here. Um, but for today, we're going to focus on the passenger rail station. Uh, I've got to do a lot of moving things around. The cargo station's going to be uh, moved and the tracks are going to need to be redone. Uh, this is a very big undertaking. Um, and right now I'm just trying to figure out what the new station is going to be because I'd like it to be something that makes a positive statement about the region, something that looks up to date and clean and stylish, but is also functional and practical and not too complicated. Um, Kleinberg is still a small town. We have to keep that in mind. Even though it is growing, it's, it's never going to be a big city. It's always going to be a country town. Um, the in and out Burger is going to be moved to a new home. Uh, it is going to get a lot more traffic now because this new train station is going to have a backside to it and uh, customers will be able to go from the train station, walk directly across the street, uh, and go grab a burger while they're waiting for their train transfer. Uh, parking needs to be moved as well. This whole area in the middle between the new in and out burger area and the town is going to be all stationized. Um, I'm doing this on pause, and you're probably all going to hate that, but I work on pause quite a bit, unless I'm working with water, um, because mostly my computer limitations, uh, the graphics just do not handle uh, running on play while I do stuff, especially opening up menus full of different train stations and tracks. Um, so I, I do build on pause quite a lot in order for my computer to be able to manage it. Now, I've just, I've settled on this lovely Japanese train station. It's one of my favorites, and I rarely get to use it, um, because I'm usually looking for multi-track stations. But in this case, I'm using it anyway, and I'm using these generic platforms um, to extend the station uh, so that we can have multiple trains pulling in here. 
And in order for people to access those, I know they can just walk across the generic platforms. Um, they do connect. They've, they've been pedestrianized uh, as an asset. But I do want to have a nice uh, walk uh, walkway, an overpass, so that people don't have to keep crossing the tracks in front of trains that are trying to move. That's just not a safe thing. So we're giving them a nice overpass that goes directly into the station. Um, redoing the roads. Now this is extremely sped up because the, this uh, train station rebuild in total uh, took two and a half hours. Um, what was that? that was a whole Friday night for me. Um, and I don't think you want to spend two and a half hours watching that. And I don't want to spend however many hours that's going to take to upload. Um, so sped up quite significantly. The parking that was once a block and a half away is now going to be in front of the station. Now that the station is no longer directly on this street, uh, now has a little turnaround for people to pull into sort of a kiss and ride area, if you will, uh, for passengers being dropped off from their loved ones or taxi cabs or what have you. Um, now, I, I have this overpass that uh, went over the tracks, but we're going to have to uh, fix things up because it, it kind of bypasses the main road instead of connecting into it. Um, now, a bypass is what it's intended to be to help traffic get over the tracks, um, but this is going to take uh, some reconfiguration in the future. We have a little bus loop here. That's going to remain as it is because it's in a good place. Uh, it's now right across the street. Um, from the new station, um, and, and really it doesn't need to go anywhere. I'm going to put a crosswalk in there so people can cross right directly in front of the station, make things easier for them. And uh, here is something in front. You'll notice the childcare with the sauna there. That is uh, part of my building um, repertoire. I, I make sure that whenever I build a train station, I always have childcare and a sauna located within a short walk of the station because this means that travelers who need to come and go and are you know haven't been at home for several days haven't seen a shower in a while you can go across the street to the sauna you can relax while you're waiting for your next train you can let your shoulders down a couple of inches uh, if you have kids with you, there's licensed child care for free for them right there. So you can drop them off. If they're not coming to the sauna with you, uh, they can go meet some new friends for an hour while you're off in the sauna, taking a nice shower uh, and relaxing during your long journey. Um, I do that with all train stations. And if you ever see a train station that does not have combined child care and sauna nearby it, that's an oops, so please let me know in the comments and I will fix it as soon as possible. Because that is one of the um, one of the, the big mainstays in my building style that I will not let go of. Um, now this rail line that I, I'm building, uh, instead of having to take one long train all through the countryside, uh, going through Tricentia, stopping off at Ribble and going around and ending in Methuselah Rock, I'm, I'm building one line that extends from Malolitan and uh, the Hidden Forest um, nearby Malolitan, and that line is extending out to Kleinberg, sort of as a shortcut. Now this is because a lot of inner city trains, uh, they, they'll no longer be traveling on the local lines, they're going to be stopping at Kleinberg, and instead of having overcrowded trains travel all throughout the long countryside, and the people in Tricentia and Ribble not being able to get a spot on the train and having to wait forever before they get a, a, a way into the city. Um, this line here is meant specifically for people moving into the city from away um, and who need a fast way to get right up to Isabella to the main station so they can go all throughout the Tyler Moore much more easily and much more quickly. It's a little bit like weaving ribbons. Um, the, the line has to go above this road and under this highway and above this road and under this highway and it uh, 
really took quite a bit of engineering that I could not do without the network multi-tool. Well, correction, I could do it on my own, but wow, it would be difficult and it would take so much longer and would be so much worse in the end. I, I could not make it uh, quite as smooth and well aligned as the network multi-tool allows me to do. Um, some complicated track work and road work in here, but we make it all work. It just takes time. Um, and, you know, be glad that you're not the one who has to scratch your head to try and get it to go the proper way. Um, while we're out here, we're also going to fix up these county roads. Um, some of them have been widened um, for the heavy traffic that's already there going up into the industrial areas. Um, but it's also just being straightened out and uh, fixed up. So the whole countryside is really just getting a stylish makeover now. Um, we're going to make sure that our decorative power lines are in the right spot, but we're not going to get too crazy about it. Um, finally connecting up the train all the way out to Kleinberg. Hopefully that'll work. Um, we'll go on a, a little test run journey later on to see how the ride is between Kleinberg and Isabella. Um, but for now, we have we have a back door of the station now here. Um, maybe one too many tracks. Probably not going to need five stations in a row. Um, but that leaves us with a nice sort of a plaza area out here in the back of the station. Um, and this area, Kleinberg, will be growing out here. There will be neighborhoods, there will be businesses on this side, not just the burger joint. Um, but whole areas will be developed out here. And for that to work comfortably and fluidly, we need people to be able to exit the back of the train station and uh, head into the, what would this side of town be? I guess the northeast part of Kleinberg um, on this side of the station. So I'm just using some procedural objects. I don't have a great grasp on procedural objects yet, um, but I can do some basic things with it. So I make this plaza out of a ploppable asphalt um, piece, and I fix up this bridge so that it's uh, easy for people in wheelchairs with walkers and strollers to be able to roll down the ramps without, uh, you know, needing a mountain climbing gear to get up. Um, yeah, it's a pretty snowy day out here, but that's just fine because in city skylines we don't need to worry about the freezing temperatures um, with our poured concrete and drilling into the ground. Uh, one of the advantages of, of building a fantasy town is that you don't have to worry so much about all the things you have to worry about in the real world. Um, decorating this plaza out nicely here. We want places for people to sit. We need some places for them to throw away their waste, garbage, and recycling. Um, always recycling. Uh, but never just recycling, because otherwise everybody throws their trash in the recycling and the whole thing is trash anyway. Um, and lots of them, so people can easily access them. Eventually, I'll be putting a lovely little running clock tower in the back here as well that you'll see towards the end of the episode. Now, we do need to fix up some of the, the, the bus routes in the area. I've been having a lot of issues with buses and streetcars both not spawning from the depots properly. Um, I've looked it up online. It's either the buses can't get from the depot to the stops. They can. Or it's uh, you've reached your limit of vehicles. That's not the case. Um, I, I, I just can't quite figure it out. But it's something that I just continually work with because I'm determined to get my bus routes to work properly. Um, at the time being, as this is being recorded, the Kleinberg bus has zero buses on it because no buses will come out of the depot. So once in a while, you will see me trying to move the depot, trying to build a new depot, uh, give it a new name, um, you know, transfer bus lines to different depots. Uh, sometimes it works and I'll get one or two buses. Sometimes it doesn't. 
and more ribbon weaving here, tying train tracks in, a lot of node controller work, but it's necessary to keep it looking nice and functioning well. Um, I don't want any of these concrete pillars in the middle of a train track. Nothing's worse than hopping on a nice, lovely train ride in your city and getting thwacked in the face with a big concrete pillar. Um, though, you know, sometimes it's just unavoidable, especially in tunnels with foundations above. Uh, a lot of issues with that. But again, um, not reality, so we don't have to worry too much about it. Um, there is a lot of work that goes into it, and sometimes I wonder why I do it all because nobody notices and it doesn't really do all that much um, to do this, this node work. But really, I have to remind myself, this is for me as well, and I like things to work well, and I like things to look nice, if I can make them look nice, so why not? Um, and slope tool, probably one of my favorite tools in the network multi-tool collection. Um, slope tool makes all of my highway overpasses so much prettier and so much easier to drive up and down, especially for big trucks and buses. Um, now, just a reminder, this is sped up. I know it might seem like there's a lot of tedious work going on here and you might be scratching your head, yawning right about now, but um, I promise you we're almost on the train ride um, and a lot is still yet to come, so stay tuned. Um, but this gets complicated because back here I want our all of our rail lines to come into the future rail yard. Um, but I do have issues trying to keep intercity trains off of these tracks as well. So there's a lot of back and forthing. Um, there's a lot of second guessing. Um, and there's a lot of network multi-tool, but that's because it helps me. Um, and it's going to help the displaced people of the world as well, who will soon be pouring in to Kleinberg Station um, looking for a new home and uh, that's going to be the next phase of this build as well is making sure we have enough um, housing for all the people who need housing not just here in the Tyler Moore but all over the place. Um, it gets very complex when you're trying to do a, a rail yard like this and when you think like I do and you're um, I'm, I'm not a perfectionist because I don't believe in perfection but I like to get as close to perfect as I can so I guess you could say I'm as close to a perfectionist as I can get um, so I do fiddle around a lot um, but you know what I see a lot of other people do this in their videos too, and they also say, hey, this is probably really annoying you right now, but it doesn't really annoy me. In a way, it kind of makes me feel like, hey, I'm not the only one with mild obsessive compulsive disorder <laughs> trying to get my rail networks to work ever so perfectly. Or not perfectly, but close to perfectly. Um, I'm just going to... Uh, let you watch some of this with a bit of quiet, chill music. And we're going to get back when we're about to hop on the train. So until then, just hang out and enjoy.
just about to find a train to hop on to take us directly to downtown Isabella. Um, trains I believe I'm using right now are unicolor trains. They have about 400 people capacity. It's a slower train, um, but good capacity. It's kind of a moderate train. I don't need anything super big to begin with. Um, so we're just going to hop on a little train right now. And we're going to head into the big city. Let's see how the ride goes. It's looking like this line is working just fine. It's a good candidate for ferrying people from the edge of the region straight to downtown where they can begin their new lives in a bustling, hustling, friendly place uh, with lots to do. Um, we're gonna pull into Kleinberg Station just before sunset. We're going to have a little tour of what everything looks like with all the lights on so it can dazzle us you know as train stations do sometimes um, but it, it really has evolved from a, a tiny little country station to a really sizable um, I, I think it makes it the third or fourth largest train station in the Tyler Moore now um, and just this beautiful station building uh, really adds to the city's aesthetics of Kleinberg. It really makes Kleinberg look like a something town now instead of just a tiny little country bedroom town. Um, it's, it's growing into something more substantial. I really, really thank you all for joining me. I am so appreciative of you checking out my videos remember to like and subscribe and comment and all those things i don't like telling you that but that's what everybody does um i i really enjoy this and i really look forward to seeing you again soon here in the mary tyler moore bye bye